Well, eating disorders in adolescents often go unreported or unnoticed, and when they're diagnosed, limited access to care can put even more strain on the patient and their family. Now, funding coming to our area is looking to change that. Jatyra Marsh joins us now in studio to tell us more about this new development. Jatyra. Adam, advocates say eating disorders are one of the most lethal mental health issues among young people, second only to opioid abuse. And currently, care is hard to come by. That's why $80,000 in funding was secured for a new care facility being developed in Pittsburgh. The upstate adolescent eating disorder residential treatment facility will be the first and only facility for adolescents recovering from eating disorders in upstate New York. Advocates gathered today say the need is great. They say 20 to 30,000 people suffer from eating disorders in western New York alone. The facility will be run by the Healing Connection, an affiliate of the Western New York Comprehensive Care Center for Eating Disorders. Dr. Mary Tantilla with the organization says the facility can eliminate a point of of stress in receiving care. Currently, adolescents need to travel at least five hours away from home to receive eating disorder residential treatment, and the majority have to go out of state, leaving behind their families, their friends, and their health care team. Their transition out of town and back creates many discontinuities of care and disconnections in, in interpersonal relationships, which the eating disorder actually capitalizes on. The Healing Connection is familiar with the area, operating several care facilities in Rochester, and has worked closely with the Comprehensive Care Center for Eating Disorders and Gallison, excuse me, Golisano Children's Hospital for program planning and implementation. Adam. All right, Jatyra, thank you. That funding today championed by Assemblymember Jen Lunsford from our area. No word yet from officials on when they hope that facility will be completed.